So my mom always tell me, you know, get off your phone, go outside, do something, you know. And I'll be like, nah, mom, I'm good. It's, everything's fine. And she's like, you're just going to be missing out in life, you know. And it made me think about, like, it's true, you will be missing out if you just stay in your couch and watch TV all day. So I agree when Homer says, for too much rest itself becomes a pain. Because we always bring up excuses so not to do things, you know. So like what it causes is like, like technology is right now is a big cause for us. You know, we have our phone in our hands so we could just, you know, lean against the wall or sit on the couch and just be on our phones all day. Or the TV, you know, we just have it in front of us. We spend all day instead of going out and socializing, you know. So and in the end it only affects us because, you know, we don't talk much, we don't go out, we don't get to experience the things we want to do. We just become more lazy. We don't go out to go experience things that we want to experience, you know. And so when Homer said that, it just made me remember my mom a lot. She's always telling me, you know, you know, get off your phone. And I'll be like, no, I'm an introvert mom. I don't go out. I just stay home. You know, I just read my books. I'll be good. And I realized how much of an impact it made on my life because then I'm more afraid to go outside more afraid to communicate with people and um, more afraid to speak in front of everyone right here <laughs> you know and it just takes away and it just brings like it just causes you to be you know it just causes like you know just ex just experiences that you could have experienced away like you s I would always be on my phone and be like on Instagram and see my friends you know oh I went to Paris or I went to you know Coachella you know and I'll be like, oh, I couldn't experience that because I was one too lazy. I just want to be at home on my couch because I work too much. I go to school, you know, or I'm just like, you know, I'm so used to my comfort zone that I don't want to get out, you know. And I believe that <clears throat> that is to be true. So in the end, I think we have to make an effort in ourselves to go out more, you know, put that phone away and, and to unplug ourselves from life and to actually go out and meet other people and experience other things. I thought you had a really good start to the speech. I like the, uh, you know, the reference to your mom nagging you to get out. I like the way that you made. The, I thought you did especially nice job transitioning to what the quote was and coming up with a thesis statement there. So that was really solid. I think we have the same problem that I've mentioned to several people before. At that point, you don't have a plan. You've just got a couple of ideas and examples of things to talk about, and you need a plan to get to the next point. So I, I thought, for example, I thought you were going to start talking about how certain social media started taking up your time and you could organize it. Uh, television. I catch myself watching television too much. I watch these programs. I suddenly realize I spend this amount of hour every day watching the television show. And of course, everybody's got their phones. Holy crime. I guess if I looked at the end of the month about how much data I used on my phone, I would see I had all these kinds of things. I didn't go and have lunch with my friend. I just sat and talked to them for an hour one day, or I texted back and forth to them for three hours instead of uh, getting together with them. And uh, I have other friends that are showing the pictures on Instagram of where they went with their friends together. And all I've got, well, I don't even have a picture of myself on the phone with my friends, you know, that kind of thing. I thought you, know, you could structure it around the different types of media and then play plug in your examples there. As it is, you kind of rush through some quick examples, 
Then you come back to them and you know try to elaborate a little bit on them, and then you go through them again, and it doesn't really feel like you're doing it. It's spinning your wheels a little bit. You've got good ideas, but because you don't have a plan for them, they just kind of are there, and you're not using them as well as you could have. So the content, I don't think it's developed particularly well. Presentation things, you your voice is fine. There's good energy in it. I think that. Uh, uh, you're moving smoothly through the presentation for the most part, no obvious hesitations. I like some of the gestures that you had that were nice descriptive gestures. There's a couple of emphatic points that you make when you're talking about your mom that I thought were uh, pretty good. Um, your facial expressions look very animated and friendly. Your eye contact is okay. I think you're looking around. Um, you don't engage people. You're scanning a little bit more than engaging, and you want to be careful about that. I didn't think it was too noticeable, but if you went well, and much longer, it might have been no more noticeable because the speech was relatively brief. You can kind of get away with a few of those things. Uh, you've got nervous feet, so you're going to have to watch that. I think that that's where all your anxiety is coming out. And at the end, I thought you were close to having a reasonably good exit, but then you had to tag on the Porky Pig exit line right there at the end. So let's avoid doing that, everybody. Thank you.